Greetings and welcome to Utique Lifestyle. This is a wardrobe planning series in collaboration with So Much Fabric and Sew to Fit. In this video, I'm going to show you the process of how I sewed my sailor jeans. With the focus on the bias binding, the zipper, and the finishing touches. The beautiful denim fabric and notions are available at So Much Fabric. Also, the tutorial for the flat felt seam by Sew to Fit will be available in the link below. In the last video, I showed you how I sewed the pockets and the bar tack, as well as the decorative stitches on the front of the sailor jeans. I am now ready to add the bias binding to the pocket. The first thing I did was I pinned the side pocket to the front of the jeans. Flip it to the back side and I'm going to trim off the excess pocket lining and then serge along the edge of the pocket. I will now prepare the bias binding to be sewn along the edge of the pocket. But before I do, I wanted to make a note with the bias binding. You'll notice that one side of the bias binding is more narrow than the other. And I will always use the narrow side for the right side of the fabric. So here I'm going to completely open up the bias binding and then lay the narrow side along the edge of the pocket. I will take the fold line and center it on the sewing machine. Then I will stitch it all the way around the pocket. I will stop at the waistband and then trim off and leave about half an inch of the trim, fold it up and finish off the stitching. Now I'm going to wrap the bias binding around the edge of the pocket, making sure it wraps around all the seams. I will press it so it will keep its shape. Repeat it for the other side. Now center it on the sewing machine and stitch. This should catch the water side of the binding from underneath. And once I'm complete, it will look like this. Now I am ready to do the bias binding along the side pocket. And it should look like this. Using the narrow side of the bias binding, I'm going to open up and then fold the end up and lay it right where the pocket ends. I will center it on the sewing machine, sew it all the way up to the waistband, trim, wrap the seam, and then sew it from the top. And it should now look like this. Now I'm at the stage where I'm ready to sew it together. So I will take the left back and place it on top of the left front. And then the right back on top of the right front. Now stitch along the inside seam of the jeans. I will cut slits along the curve and then open it up, center the seam on the machine, move the needle to the right by one, and then sew it down along the pant leg. And it should look like this. Now I'm going to align the front of the jeans and match it up and match up the back of the jeans. I will now baste along the crotch line. At this point, I'm going to bring up the jean leg and then move the bottom front of the jeans and match it up to the back of the jeans. Here I straightened out the back and now I'm just going to pair up the front to the back. I will sew along the side seams and then open it up and press. I will also press along the inseam of the jeans as well. I will now flip it inside out. I am ready to work on the front panel of the jeans. Here the front panel is folded down and then now I'm ready to fold the waistband down. So the front panel is laying on top of the waistband and I will pin that together. Here I've already stitched my first line and I'm creating a thread tail about one and a half inches in length. I'm going to center the first line and then move the needle to the left by two and then stitch when I get to the other end. When I get to the other end, I'm going to slow down and then at my last stitch, I'm going to leave a thread tail about one and a half inches in length. I am going to thread the needle and at the very edge of the panel, I'm, I am going to push it through to the back side and tie a knot two to three times to secure it. 
And now the front decorative stitches are complete. I am now ready to sew on the buttons. For the spacing of the buttons, I placed it 5 8 inch from the top, 5 8 inch from the side edge, and 1 and a half inches apart from each button. So here I marked 5 8 inches from the top and 5 8 inches from the side edge. Here I'm making a few more 5 8 inches from the edge and then using a ruler to draw a straight line. And now I'm marking 1 and a half inches apart for four buttons. I will do the same for the other side and then individually sew on the buttons from the underside. For the very top button, I did sew through all the layers of the fabric. However, for the other buttons, I did go in between the pocket opening. And I love how the design elements of the sailor jeans all came together when the buttons were sewn on. The decorative stitches and the buttons were all visually very satisfying for me. All the slow sewing and patience paid off. So what do you think? We are now ready for the exposed zipper. The first thing I did was I marked 7 inches down which was the length of the zipper. Then I made 1 fourth inch markings along the sides. On the inside I marked 7 inches down. I marked a fourth of an inch from the seam and at a 45 degree angle I cut towards the corner where the 7 inch and the 1 fourth inch marking intersect. Remove the thread tracing and then separate the fabric. Fold the pointed ends down and iron. Now iron the new exposed zipper side seams. With a double sided tape, tape it along the inside of the seams. Remove the paper and lay the zipper opening on top of the zipper and make sure it is well adhered. I used thread matching the jean color and I edge stitch slowly following the seam. Slow down as you get close to the bottom of the zipper and pivot around the corners. Did end up thread tracing the seam line so I took the time to remove the thread. Now I am ready to do the red bias binding contrast inside the jeans. I will start it at the zipper and then go all the way around all the way up to the waistband. Using the more narrow side of the bias binding, I will open it up and lay it on top of the jeans, center it on the sewing machine and then stitch it all the way around. When you get to the end, wrap the seam and stitch it from the top. It should catch the wider bias binding underneath. I apologize in advance, but I wasn't able to find the footage where I sewed the bias binding around the zipper. So if you have any questions here, feel free to ask. I did this part a little bit different. I wrapped the zipper all the way down to the very bottom. I lift the top bias binding and then sewed the zipper to the binding underneath. Next, I will fold it over at the bottom to cover the tail of the zipper. And then I will fold it under and up the width of the zipper and wrap the zipper from the other side. Pull back the top binding and stitch the zipper to the bottom bias binding. And then I hand stitched the bias binding onto the zipper. And I stitched it all the way around until I got to the other end. I did the same thing for the front side, however I only had to do it to one side of the seam since the other one was already done. And also where it ended, I folded the binding under the seam. Although no one will get to see the inside of my jeans, I love the outcome and the personal touch that I only know about. And only you know about as well. I am now ready for the finishing touches. I will now fold under the waistband and pin it all the way around. I will then stitch in the ditch starting from the pocket to the back and on the other side from the back towards the pocket. And finally, I am going to sew the hem of the jeans, and I am complete. When quarantine was in order, I did attend Easter Mass with a me-made Easter dress, and then changed into my jeans for the Easter egg hunt. I wore it with a lace sleeve black crop top. I'll link those videos down below for you. 
Here are more outfits I put together with the items in my closet. I have worn the jeans quite a bit this summer, especially with my sleeveless chambray blouse. So which outfit do you like the best? Or how would you style the sailor jeans? Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you enjoyed my sailor jeans series, please click like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell for future new videos.